Hey, what's up, guys? I hope everybody's uh, Father's Day was good. Um, like I said earlier, mine was uneventful. It was rainy here, and uh, my uh, daughter was at home resting and healing at her mom's house. Um, and my other daughter is in Arizona. But I got phone calls from both of them, and I was on the phone with them for about three hours total with both of them. So I had a good day. It was good. Um, I wish I would have gotten to spend more, spend some time with them. And also to, um, I wish I would have got to go, uh, garage sailing, even though I don't have much money to spend. I could have spent like five bucks or something, 10 bucks. Um, and I wish I would have been able to dig today, but you know, with the weather, Eh, wasn't possible. But anyway, that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you some more of my top-loaded cards. Um, the next player on the list is Prince Fielder. And I'm sure most of you know that Prince Fielder is Cecil Fielder's son. And... They're the only father-son combo to hit 50 home runs. And this is the 19, not, or 19, 2006, or no, 2007 Fleer of them. And uh, this is 2000, wait. No, 2006 Fleer, I'm sorry. And this is 2007 Fleer. And uh, Prince, actually, they used to have celebrity softball games on MTV. And I remember Prince as like a 12, 13-year-old um, playing in the celebrity softball game on uh, MTV back in the 90s. So that was cool to see. But uh, yeah, it's unfortunate he had that neck injury, which I don't remember what exactly it was, but it uh, left him out of baseball. This is uh, 2007 Ultra, 2007 Upper Deck, 2008 SP Authentic, 2008, um, these are from Tops. I want to say these come from like Rack Packs, but... I'm not positive. I remember, seem to remember getting one in them, but I'm not sure now. Got two of those. Um, 2008 Upper Deck Infield Power Insert. Two thousand eight Goody. Gaudi. Whatever you want to say. Um, two thousand eight. Upper Deck Heroes, Eddie Murray and Prince Fielder, 2008 Upper Deck Masterpieces, um, 2008 A Piece of History, um, cut from the same cloth, Ryan Howard, Prince Fielder, numbered. That's cool. 2008 Upper Deck Spectrum. 2008 Upper Deck Timeline. 2008 Upper Deck X. Um, what do you call these? Uh, you know what I'm. You know what they are. I can't think of the name now. 2009 Upper Deck All-Star, 2008 
2009, or I'm sorry, Tops All Star, 2009 Tops Ticket to Stardom. Another. 2009 Upper Deck. Star Quest insert. 2009 A Piece of Hint History. 2009 Upper Deck X. And then there's the die cut. Yeah, that there you go. There's the word I was looking for, die cut. From 2010 Tops, Le Legendary Lineage, Jimmy Fox and Prince Fielder. 2010 Tops. That's a cool card. I like that. Cool, good photography. 2010 Opening Day. Where'd you go, Bazooka Joe? 2011 All Star, 2011 Tops, another 2011 All Star Sparkle, 2011 Cognac, Cognac All Star. Yeah, this is a, this is an All Star one too. I wonder if this is a SP. Or not. I don't know. Um from 2012 Bowman Platinum. That's when he was on the Tigers, obviously. 2012 Prism. 2012 Tops. League Leaders. Run batted in. Him, Howard, and Kemp. 2012 Home Run Derby, 2012 A Cut Above, Insert, 2012 Allen and Ginter, What's in a Name, Insert, 2012 Archives, 2012 Opening Day, 2013 Tops Mini, 2013 Chasing History insert from Tops, 2013 Allen and Ginter, 2013 Gypsy Queen Sliding Stars, 2013 Gypsy Queen Mini, 2014 Tops Chrome, this die cut, which I think I showed in another video. Um, 2016 um, Diamond King, um, this is a career stat leader card. Numbered 46 out of 311. Next up is Carlton Fisk. 82 tops. 84 tops. 92 leaf black variation. 92 Leaf Heritage Series. 2005 Diamond Kings Hall of Fame Series. I actually remember when these came out and 
these were a hot item. You could not get these. It's they were they were a pretty penny back in their day, like a couple hundred dollars a box. Um, they had a lot of uh, memorabilia and autos in this set. So there was a, there was a lot. At least for 2005, there was. Um, 2011 tops tops uh, 60 insert. 2012 classic walk-offs. 2012 golden moments insert. Same one. Another. 2010 Jimmy Fox vintage le vintage legends insert Jimmy Fox was a good one guys he had 534 career stolen bases two thousand fifteen prism Todd Frazier, USA Baseball. Insert. 2012 Tops Gold Futures. Insert. Freddie Freeman. Another one. 2012 Bowman Platinum. Die Cut. 2013 um, refractor. I don't know what that kind of refractor is. I don't know if it's a super refractor or what, but that's a really cool card. I like that one. 2014 tops. The future is now insert. 2014 tops upper class insert. 2015 Don Russ Diamond King. Two, 1993 Don Russ Diamond King of Andres Galarraga. 1994 Andres Galarraga Gold Rush card. 1995 National League Home Run Leader insert. 2010 tops attacks insert and every single one has like a different code on it as you can see the card looks the same except for the code so i got two three four of those um a 2011 tops silver sparkle a 2013 Gypsy Queen Mini. Next player is this card is from 1998 Pinnacle Noma. I really liked Nomar back in the day. I still do. 1999 Bowman's Best of Noma. 2000 Tops. Or no, Bowman, I'm sorry. 
2000 Bowman, 2000 Fleer Mystique, a 2000 Fleer Mystique um, Supernaturals insert. I love this set when it came out. Beautiful set. And they're relatively cheap now. I think I you could probably buy a box for like 30, 40 bucks. And they're beautiful cards, guys. Um from 2000 Upper Deck Pros and Prospects. Another one of those. From 2001, Fleer Focus. 2001 Tops. 2002 Donruss. Two thousand two Fleer Hot Prospects, two thousand three Bowman, two thousand three Upper Deck Forty Man, two thousand four Bazooka. Yeah, like these bazooka sets. Oh no, that's a different set I'm thinking of. Never mind. I was gonna say those have like a thousand cards in the set, but that's tops total. Um for two thousand four upper deck Nomar. Two thousand four upper deck World Series Heroes. Nomar. Two thousand four Upper Deck Pro Sigs, Nomar. 2006 Tops All Star, Nomar. 2007 Fleer, Nomar. 2007 Ultra, Nomar. Another. 2007 Upper Deck, Nomar. Another 2007 Upper Deck. This is a checklist, though. 2007 Upper Deck, Nomar. Another 2007 Upper Deck, Nomar. Another 2007 Upper Deck, Nomar. Another 2007 Upper Deck, Nomar. Cool looking card. 2008 Upper Deck Baseball Heroes. Next player, uh, Lou Gehrig from 2007 Upper Deck Masterpieces. 2010 Tops uh, Vintage Legends insert. Cool. 2012 Tops Golden Greats. I don't know if all of you know, but Lou Gehrig, I believe, holds the Major League record for RBIs. I think it is 186. Well, he, he does have the record for homers, or Grand Slams, I think. Unless A-Rod passed him up, I forget, but he's got 23 Grand Slams. So, that's that. And then, uh, no, this is something, this is a gold standard of his. I'm trying to see, find the card that uh, says how many RBIs he had in one season. Wait, let me go back. Let me look at these. Uh, it doesn't say on that. Let's see on this. Nope. It doesn't say on those. I 
another gold standard of his. Another. Here's his final numbers, guys. Now tell me that's not impressive. And his career was cut short. Three forty career average. That's not in one year. That's career. Plus he hit all those homers. So imagine if Tony Gwynn would have hit 30, 40, 50 homers in a year. And that's pretty much what Lou Gehrig did. Pretty awesome. If it wasn't for Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig would have been a heck of a lot more popular. 2012 Gypsy Queen Hallmark Heroes insert. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Single season RBIs, 184. 184 RBIs. And this is before steroids, guys. That is nuts. I mean, he did, but he did have an awesome lineup. I will give him that. But pretty awesome. And oh, and this is like the sparkle version of this card. Or like the rainbow foil, not sparkle version. You guys know what I'm talking about. 2013 Gypsy Queen. There's so many names for these things. It's hard to remember, you know, variations and um, die cuts and um, refractors. And it's just mind boggling. 2015 Tops Highlight. 2000. Or, 1992, Tops traded Jason Giambi in his USA uniform. This was not his pre-rookie, though. Um, I believe this was in, that's 19, yeah, 1993. I believe his pre-rookie, or XRC, as they said back in the day, was 1992. This card books at about a buck or two, but... Jason, Jason Giambi was kind of a beast. Here's his 94 top prospect card from Topps. Um, next is Bob Gibson. I really like this card. That's why I put it in a, a top loader. Um, tell me that's not cool. Club 3000. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's just a FLIR from 2000. And uh, 3000 Strikeout Club, obviously. Not Hit Club. And this from 2011, Goodwin Champions. from That's an Upper Deck brand. Um, 2012 Tops, Gold Standard Insert. Um, mound Dominance from 2012 Tops. Another. From 2013 Allen and Ginter. Gypsy Queen. And 2014 Heritage Flashbacks card. See what it says. Hoot Hurls Homers his way to win. Gibson pitched more shutouts against the Cubs than any other team, but the one on June 27, 1965, was special. Not only did he strike out 12 of the longtime Cardinals rival batters in the opening doubleheader, but he supported his effort with a two-run homer. Pretty neat. But that's all for today, guys. I'm running on 25 minutes, so... I like to go about 20, which I went over that, I know, but I just I get, got a little excited. What can I say? I, I love talking about baseball cards. And I love when you guys write, write back or write me little comments. Um, 
again, if I made a mistake or forgot something or there's some facts that I didn't mention and you guys know and you want to let me know, that's fine. I'm all up for conversation and uh, constructive criticism and uh, facts. So from one baseball card collector to another, I bid you a fond adieu. Bye-bye.